particular to school. We have all these cars. Alright, so we're going to do a glide gate. Which, this is called a glide bait. We did a rainbow trout yesterday. So we are going to go with my favorite color for baits, which is a brown gold, which you see that in the perch. So, put this on my helping hands. white. Use what little left I got. Little I got. And then we oops, wait a minute. Look at that. I almost put white and black. That's not good. Hey, Valerie, <laughs> do it again, on and on again. A lot of little videos today, I guess. A lot of little videos. Which is good. This way, people don't have to search through a whole bunch of, you know, stuff. Do a lot of 30 minute videos. Put Carol's put Carol's uh, uh, site up, Val. I'll, I'll pin it again. I'll pin Carol's site again. Because you know, I'm gonna sell these tomorrow with a couple day delay on shipping. Let him hear it. catching them fish. <laughs> so we're going to uh, paint a glide bait. Um, we did this glide bait yesterday, which is a rainbow trout, obviously. And we just finished this one a few minutes ago. This is a swim bait, of course. Beautiful. Beautiful swim bait. Really nailed it. Nailed that. Nailed it. <laughs> so I'm going to sell these tomorrow on Carol's auction. I'm going to pin this. So tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern, noon, my time. And, uh, 8 o'clock UK time. We got a lot of UK guys. So I pinned it. Bellows in here. Bellows my Norwegian forest cat. Aren't you, baby? You big boy. He doesn't jump off there anymore because he uh, hooked himself right through the lip on one of my hanging lures. And I don't do that. I don't hang my lures up here anymore. Not with hooks. <laughs> so, 
so they put like a bait up there for six cents and use it as sort of a model. Uh, all right, so now we're going to create a gold. Because I want this sort of a gold. I love the brown and golds. I mean, they just do really well at catching fish in my waters. Central Valley? Whereabouts in the Central Valley? I'm from the Central Valley. Married my wife in Modesto, lived 22 years in uh, Fresno. So, yeah, I know the Central Valley really well. In fact, a lot of people in the Central Valley know me really well. <laughs> I manage thousands of people in retail stores in the Central Valley. So whereabouts? Whereabouts in the Central Valley are you at? Whereabouts in the Central Valley you at catching? You want out of here, don't you? Well, it's cold down here. Ten degrees outside. I don't see it. <laughs> we got Cajun roots, got Johnny on. Good color. This is a good color for this fish. I love this color. I love this color. I know it's just a this color. Like I said, these big baits we're going to sell on Carol's channel tomorrow. So you ain't put down where you're from. Where, where in the Central Valley you at? Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, we got to clean this out. That's just it's gorgeous. That's <laughs> what that is. Okay. Okay, we're going to add some more yellow on top, some transparent yellow. We're going to really gold it up. That's what we're doing. Golding it up. We should uh, put a flash dry on it. You don't want to tell me. I know the Central Valley really well in the fishing spots. Got to go to Common Sense Fishing too because he's from Turlock and he fishes. Oh, he fishes Don Pedro and New Maloney's a lot. Uh, and he's a very good fat. Ba uh, Sam's a very good bass fisherman. Really good bass fisherman. So. Oh, he's working right now. That's why. <laughs> yeah, we lost him to his job. <laughs> we lost him to his job. <laughs> That's why he's in 
All right, so we got some yellow. This is transparent yellow. So we're just going to put it on the sides. And basically what this is doing is really golding it. You know, on top of that brown. That's what we're doing, really just golding it up. So we just golded it up. Now it's really gold. <laughs> so, we're really golding it up. All right, so now, Matt Scientist. So, <clears throat> now we're going to uh, make it green on the back. Then we're going to clear coat all these. We're going to add eyes to the ones we have it. And we're going to clear coat these in this session. We're going to finish these baits up. And then you can really see them, see what they're going to look like. Because it is, when I put the epoxy on them, it is absolutely phenomenal. That's pretty green. Now you'll notice what I do. I uh, I mix my colors almost entirely. I work with primary colors. Saves me a lot of money. But I also get exactly what I want. Now the thing is, each one of my baits are unique. So being unique baits, because I can't match colors exactly all the time. They get really close. And, uh, but, that's kind of the fun part of buying my baits. You're really getting a one-off bait. So now, we're going to uh, get the back of this. Right on the shoulders. And that, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, we're not done with it, of course. So, we're going to, uh, push the black and the black. And my yellow still. So we need to make this green because we used it all up just now. But we're just going to, we're really going to darken this green up. Is what we're going to do. Darkening it up. So, very cool. That is beautiful. If I left it like that, you'd probably catch a lot of fish, but we really need to... That's good. <laughs> I don't want to bubble on there. Darken this up. This is all pearl colors, too. So it sort of has metallic flake in it. It's really beautiful. Hard for you to see it on the camera, but... That's beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. It's always good to go light.
Oh. Oh. My heart be still. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Just my heart be still. That is really pretty. That is really pretty. Isn't that pretty, Bella? Bella, my cat. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just, oh. Oh my goodness. That's just pretty. I don't think I want to do anything more. Maybe put a ball side if I can find me a, I have a tip up here still. Put a false eye on the side. We'll paint black. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful paint. So now we're going to take a Q tip. Put a dot right there. That's where we're going to put a dot right there. Hmm. A dot right there. Oh, oh, oh. That's gorgeous. It really is. You don't need to do anything more to this bait to catch a fish. You just don't. This will catch a fish. Oh. All right. Now we're going to put eyes. Mix my epoxy. And we're going to start making these baits look amazing. If they don't already look amazing. Which, you know, I'm a little partial. I think they look amazing. We're going to make them look more amazing. So I'm going to break out my towel. And my towel. Then we're going to break out my eyeballs. And then, oh my gosh. So, I'm going to do the craws first. We did these earlier today, my craws. I need to wash my hands a little bit. Wash my hands a little bit. What am I doing on this thing? Am I like in like fast forward or something? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. It's like my thing was going a little crazy. I don't know what it's doing. I look good. All right. Let's peel off my uh, blue tape. I can do it. <laughs> All right. Blue table. Blue table. Okay, we 
take off. The first one. <laughs> always they, they, they they're a great springtime bait to cross off crawfish start coming out free spawn fish are so hungry they just eat them as they're coming off of their dormant you know, season and uh, they see these things and they say oh that's a good meal lobster <laughs> Don't wake up to lobster. Probably do it more often. <laughs> so fish, they just jump right on this stuff. Right, the pre-spawn, fattening themselves up because the females, they'll be sitting on top of their uh, eggs after they hatch after they lay them. That is a beautiful lure. And, you know, people look at it too. They'll look at this lure and they'll think, it's pretty simple. They don't see all the colors, and really the thought that goes into it. Oh, I gotta clean my brush. Ah. I'll do that after I peel this off. Can't just leave paint in the brush. We get all excited. We get all excited. So, all right. Let's put that, slide that over there. Let's clean this brush out real quick. I always leave my um, simple green in there. Um, Simple Green is a great organic cleaner. Um, it's a good, I mean, some people use Windex, but Windex ammonia. I don't use Windex, so I use Simple Green. Ammonia works. But this is safer. Alright. Then just let it sit in there. Let it work its magic. Alright, so now we gonna put eyes on these guys. We did these earlier today. These are big old cross. believe it's it's cold outside guys it's weird. it might be in the teens by now I don't know it might be 13 degrees outside but yeah it's cold here in Klamath Falls <laughs> so all right we need to find some really cool eyes because I like cool eyes Black and red eye kind of matches the craw color. So, you guys can see what I'm doing here, down here. So, we're going to put just a drop of super glue on each one of these. And then quickly <laughs> put the eyes on it.
half a drop or a quarter drop of super glue. You don't need a lot. Super glue lasts a long time when you're doing baits. They use a JB weld. And just let it lift, separate itself. Don't pull it off, you know, or else that string will just fall on your bait. You don't want that. I tell you, my 40 year class reunion is coming this month or this year. Class of 82. So yeah, it's uh, kind of exciting. I went to my 20 year reunion. Went to my 20 year reunion. Bella wants out of the basement. I don't blame him. It's cold down here. Although well, he's got a heater down there. He can lay in front of him. Don't you? Yeah, I know, I know. I hear you. I hear you. Stay, lay down in front of the heater for now. I hear you. Up there on the steps. In the basement, sort of. So that. Well, it's going to look pretty, isn't it? That's pretty. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, so let's put the other eye. Let's put the other other eyes on it. Flip it over. These are big square bills. Perfect for a craw pattern. Really perfect. Quite a few of these. They were on a uh, special, so I like these. These I've owned these before. In fact, I just got one, the same exact blank in a uh, dark horse tackle box. If I can sell enough baits. I can buy my a new rod and reel. I don't have a medium light, and I want to. I want a medium light, <laughs> and it's made by Cajun Custom Rods. It's an American-made, handmade rod. Really affordable for what it is. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not. It's not super expensive. Um, and uh, I'm thinking about, you know, I'm debating on reels right now between a Daiwa and Abu or something like that, but I think I'm going to go with a Daiwa reel. That what you know the the setup will be the best that I own. Let go. Oh come on, you stupid eye. There we go. Um, so I'm pretty excited if I sell enough baits. It will be probably my last bass rod I will buy because you know, I have a lot of bass rods. 
you know, this one right up here, this is an extra heavy. Uh, but I don't care for it a whole lot. It's too heavy. I mean, physically heavy. So when I'm working my top water on it, it's a... Uh, it wears out my wrists. Because then, you know, I'll be working frogs or something like that on it. So, all right. So these are ready for clear coat. Ready for clear coat. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, we did this one yesterday. This is a whopper plopper. Let me let my cat out. I'll be right back. You. don't have to know English. You just have to know them annoying. <laughs> All right, so. Now, I did this one with a color shifting paint sample that I got. And I really wanted to see it when it was all dry, which it is now. see the flakes but you just don't see the shift so but it's still a beautiful bait so we're going to uh, pick an eye I like it. <laughs> okay. I mean, when, you, when I pick eyes, it just hits you. I mean, it's just like the fish is looking back at you. So that's a big eye. I like big eyes. I could probably paint one of these whopper ploppers in a frog pattern. The big eye like that will look really cool. I had not done whopper ploppers before so you know um, I love whopper ploppers for fishing it's also great to teach people how to fish uh, kids and stuff because it's such a simple bait and it's extremely dramatic because when the bass just jump out of the water and hit it look at that I mean come on that's great looking. Uh, when the bass just jump up right up out of the water and hit it, uh, it's just, it's just, I mean, it's, it's exciting. And and I teach kids how to bass fish top water with whopper, whopper ploppers. It's all on the matter of retrieve speed. Last year I had a bunch of kids on kayaks with me and I was teaching them bass fishing and so I had them throw whopper ploppers and, I, and uh, they were reeling it in too fast so I'm sitting right next to them in my kayak I go slow it down slow it down I go that's the speed you want and as soon as I said that a bass jumped up and hit it that made them very very happy and then they just started catching bass. But that is a very cool whopper plopper. That is a cool whopper plopper. Look at that. Look at those eyes. I love big eyes. All right. So we did. We just have the one we just. There's one we painted earlier. It's a beautiful swim bait. Look at that. Beautiful swim bait. Uh, I did it and uh, sort of in different colors to go look like it's a color changing pattern which kind of is but I manipulated it into all these different colors that I put on it and I do that a lot um, you'll see it in my um, thread thin shads they look 
white and silver, but they're not. There's yellow and blue and greens in them. And so when you hold them up to the light, you'll see all those other colors. So we are going to now pick eyes for this guy. Now, for some reason, I'm thinking red. Let's see what red looks like. Yeah, I like red. We're gonna go with the red on this one. Surgery, surgery. And then we'll do the one we just did. And then we'll mix our epoxy. This is a beautiful pattern. Again, I'm going to sell these tomorrow on Carol's channel, which I pinned on the comment thread. I'll start. It usually goes on for two or three hours. So from three to six, or three to five, something like that, up tomorrow, Eastern time. Pop it in there. And that looks really, really pretty. That red eye on it. Um, so if you, uh, if you have a chance, please, you know, if you want to buy one of these, because I'm not going to put these, you know, they won't be put on my website for a while. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about simplifying my website. Instead of you picking your baits, I'll pick them by region sort of create mystery boxes. And it'll make it a lot easier for me for inventory wise. Um, and I could do it by region or you could just put down what you want. <laughs> you know, if you want crate baits, you want square bills, you want swim, whatever you want, um, and I will go ahead and make the box for you with what I painted. Or, you can, oh, come on. So that, that is a beautiful bait. Look at the, I mean, it's just beautiful bait. <laughs> Let's take this, this glide bait we just did to another beautiful bait. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get some, okay, clean that off. All right, now we pick an eye for this. This one, I almost think yellow. Is it too much yellow? I don't know. Let's look. No, it isn't too much yellow. Let's go and see if the next size finger works. Uh, who's calling me? Nope. Nobody I know. going to go yellow with the eyes on this golden one. It really is a beautiful bait. Um, this, sometimes simple works <laughs> better, but I don't want you all thinking that simple is easy for me. I may make it look easy, but you know, there are four or five different colors in here. cost me money and everything else, the eyes, the hooks, the 
white rings. That yellow eye with the green head really stands out. It looks really good. And you can go as, as big an eye as you can for these fish. Because it just adds, you know, life to it. Anybody still on? We've got six people still. Sort of, I'm probably in the background somewhere. <laughs> So the next part is mixing the epoxy. That takes five minutes or so. I mean, you're stuck listening to me while I stir. I'll tell you some high school stories of mine. Because, you know, it's posted today in my class reunion. All right. Paper clip. Paper clip. Wow. I mean, that is a beautiful bait. That's a beautiful bait. Look at that baby. It's got a uh, soft rubber tail that I will glue in after the epoxy dries. So it doesn't fall out. There's my eyeballs. Lots of eyeballs. Ugh. All right, my epoxy. Epoxy. Stir stick for epoxy. And a little cup. Little cup. There it is. Now we got some big baits here, so we're going to. is thick. Look at that air bubble. <laughs> it, just, it takes a while for it. So we're going to mix about seven milliliters. I know that don't sound like much, but we're going to uh, we're gonna mix about seven milliliters of this. You do a one-to-one -one mix between the epoxy and the hardener. Then you mix for vigorously for five minutes. It's good for about 45 minutes. So, all right. Yeah, cutting the top off a little bit for us. All right, that's more than enough, I think. I know, it doesn't look like much. Okay, it don't look like much. But, you know, that's going to settle down to about three milliliters. So now we're going to take some of the hardener, and we're just going to mix that. It comes out much faster. I don't have to clip the top off on it. see the difference between the two layers so these are little disposable cups that you can buy oh, like stuff you take NyQuil in and stuff you know no big deal so okay now we mix vigorously for five minutes 940 so 945 we start painting this on So very cool. So, stories. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what, you know, K 
catching them fish is from. He's from the Central Valley. I've been in his town, I'm sure of it, because I spent 30 years or so in the Central Valley. Um, yeah, 30 years I lived in the Central Valley. Met my wife in Modesto. Married her there. Then my career took me down to Fresno. And then it moved me up to South Sacramento, Elk Grove. So finally my career moved me down to Los Angeles. Yeah. I was a retail manager, mostly. Now we owned our own store back in in, the, in Fresno. Um, it was a wild bird center, it was called. It was a nature store. We didn't sell birds. A lot of people thought we sold wild birds. Now, doesn't that say something? You can't sell a wild bird. <laughs> well, that's what they thought we did. They thought we sold, we sold wild birds. And I said, we're fresh out of, you know, California condors. <laughs> sold out. Those bald eagles, they go quick. <laughs> Spotted owls, oh yeah, cute little things, they go. <laughs> People think we sold wild birds. That's funny. That's funny. I'm going to have to take these. Now, I got some up here that are done curing, so we'll have to put hooks on them. Sell those off tomorrow. That beautiful. This thing right here, I'm going to put spinner on. That is a great looking bait. This one has a great looking bait. Lots of colors. Call it my candy spinner. That thing's going to catch anything. Catch trout, perch, bass, smallmouth, largemouth. It don't matter. That's going to be a pretty smallmouth for me. Good smallmouth bass. So, you got to stir this for five minutes. Or else, you know, it doesn't, it takes longer to set. Now, I put my my rack in front of my space heater here, so, you know, even though it gets like, you know, in the single digits, at least in front of the space heater, it's not. And they seem to cure better with a little heat on them. This is really, going, these are going to look so good. We're going to do the uh, swim baits first because I just want to see the swim baits. Those craws, you know. Oh, they're all good. Those are all going to look fantastic. All going to look fantastic. Yeah, it turns from clear to this bubbly mixture. You don't get air bubbles. And you, just, you, you paint it on with these disposable brushes. You just paint it on real thin real thin. Then it sort of expands on its, and it creates this incredibly hard, you know, muscular shell on it. I mean, you won't even be able to scratch it. I mean, my baits are durable, to say the least. These are going to look great. Oh my gosh, this is going to look great. You know, these right here, these these big baits. Those are oh, be so cool. And they are, you know, it is art. I agree with you, Valerie. It is art. It's just a different canvas. That's all it is. Different canvas. Different canvas. This epoxy is called Lure Coat from LureBuild.com. And uh, LureBuild makes fantastic, I mean, you got, he knows how to buy blanks. Like I said, I'm a little disappointed with that color shift. You know, I just can't get it to work. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a regular bottle of his and see if it's different. 
it's super thin. It's great for flowing through an airbrush. Okay. Okay, so we're, we've gone five minutes. So I'm going to take one of my disposable brushes. Voila. And we're going to take all these off. My drying rack. Got a nice popper. Bam. Beautiful popper. We'll sell these. Oh, great jointed dive bait. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then I did I did some crappie patterns, which turned out really, really good looking. That's a good looking crappie. Good looking crappie. Maybe you won't catch. All right. So we did the oldest one is this one. So now we're going to paint this with this epoxy. Again, we're going to you just put a little bit on it. And sort of glump it over the uh, the gills and stuff because, you know, a lot of nooks and crannies in there. wet look, it really does dry just like it looks right now. Any air bubbles that are in it disappear too. hardest part of a fish, all the nooks and crannies, but now we have to work on the body, so none of those fins, the body's got a lot of relief to it, you know, scale relief to it, now the beautiful thing about painting on epoxy on a swim bait because you got all these sections. You don't need to dig out epoxy on you know the joints later. I've done that when I was using KBS, which is a different um, heart clear coat. You just sort of dig it out and get it to work, you know, the bait to work again. When you're doing just thin coats on it like this, it's not so bad. You don't have to worry about that. It's that last tail, you know, it's the very tail. He likes to wiggle around a lot. the waggiest tail. Okay, on the back part of that tail. You know, it 
get this attention to detail when you buy something from a big manufacturer. That is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. That is beautiful, guys. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> Let's do the uh, whopper plopper next. Plopper, plopper. I love whopper ploppers. Like I said, it's the best. I mean, really, well, it's a great bait anyway for even pros, but great bait to teach people how to catch a bass when they're hitting top water. Just a matter of speed of retrieve. Once you teach them how to, the, the, the proper speed of retrieve, then they will be catching them all day long. They're jumping out of the water. All right. And that is a beautiful, beautiful whopper plopper. Really is gorgeous. Let's put it on my drying rack. All right. All right. So what do we, oh, let's do the uh, live bait's a little tougher to do because there's nothing really to hold on to. But we're gonna do it. Save the mouth. Colors are good on this. Really, when they when they get this wet look, man, they just shine like crazy. Chin for last, give me something to hold on to. Real important around where the, the hooks attach, you get that real good coat of epoxy because there's a lot of wear there. Epoxy's really thick though, so I mean, really hard. Chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put it in the light so you can see if I missed any spots. Let's 
beautiful bait. Look at that. Looks like a rainbow trout. <laughs> Which, you know, was the purpose. Alright. So we did the, okay, so let's do the cross. Cross are easier because there's a build attack to hold on to. That is beautiful. Both are beautiful. Now, this red is going to just pop with that orange. That Remember that yellow I put over the top of the red? Look at that. It dries that pretty, too. It dries that pretty. All right. Well, basically, we're... You know, even when you got a half hour to work with this epoxy, still, it starts to thicken. <laughs> Working against the clock here. <coughs> Sorry. Got this cock though. Can't seem to shake it. Even cough drops and cough syrup. I don't know. beauty. Another beauty. And you can see with the ones that I showed you earlier that I took off the Dryden rack, I mean they look wet. Really is a very good looking drying epoxy. Just, just beautiful. I mean, it just is beautiful. <laughs> I know. Not very humble of me to say stuff like that. But, you know, like Valerie says, it is art. My art. And you love to see a plan come together, you know? painting when it's done. You like to see it. You know, what was in your head translated onto a canvas. And that is what baits are. I see, you know, when you think of it that way, and then I sell them for what I think are competitive prices to the, the big guys, like six cents. 
very modest of me to say stuff like this, but <clears throat> what should I say? It's pretty good. <laughs> tough to finagle it. This thing wiggles so much. <laughs> it's hard to paint these uh, swim baits. <laughs> Of the swim baits. Because your hand cramps up. <laughs> My hand's cramping. There's pain involved in these. <laughs> Doing a 180, which means, yeah, this thing will just it will swim so cool. It'll change directions on you. It'll be a fantastic day. To fish with. Now look at it. Let's see if there's any matte spots on it. Look at that. It's a beautiful bait. Stunner. That's a stunner. Okay, let's do the last one we did. Again, hard to do this because there's no lip on it. So we saved the head for mouth and chin for last. Maybe 
need something to hold on to. Got my pink piece of epoxy on. We made a lot of epoxy. This epoxy really goes a long way when you paint. You just gotta paint a thin layer on. is beautiful guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna name this one Bob. Name it Bob. I have a Bob the goldfish. I have a goldfish named Bob. He doesn't have any green on him. I love the way the green looks, though. Shake it out, Mike. <laughs> and then we get the, the nose and the chin and where I was holding on to it. line that's attached to it. So don't want to make a rash on that and wear it out. Just a stunning, stunning lure. Look at that. There's a lot of fishermen out there that don't think you can't catch something on these lures. Just not a fisherman out there. There's these. The beautiful lures. <laughs> Not just are they pretty, but they'll work. They're just going to work. So, <laughs> look at those. Look at those baits. Wow. <laughs> All I gotta say is wow. You know, 
I have for years, I have paid thousands of dollars for baits on my wall. Thousands. And besides my Dark Horse Tackle Box, I have paid for my last hard bait pre-painted. I, I, I'm just not doing it anymore. Because why? When I can paint exactly what I want for my waters, you know, look at, I mean, look at that. I mean, this is, that is a great spinnerbait. This one, I mean, that is beautiful. Oh, the colors in it. There's not another one like it on the market. There's just not another one like it. You know? That guy? That jointed deep diver? Awesome. Yeah, you can find frog looking, you know, lures. So a little extra epoxy that dripped there, but that's okay. Um just uh just I mean it's a beautiful crappie too you could probably you know but I I don't have to uh I don't have to buy any more hard baits myself I can just make them the way I want it so but I want to thank you guys for uh, at least having me play in the background <laughs> wherever you are <laughs> I'm going to put hooks and stuff on these guys. I uh, won't have to do, don't have to do that on channel. Um, but the, uh, these, these turned out great. And they really turned out really, really good. Um, let's see if I can get this one. him up in front of the heater. Very important. I mean, gosh, those are gorgeous. They'll be dry enough to touch, maybe. Yeah, by noon tomorrow, for sure. And uh, we'll uh, feature these on Carol's show, which is pinned up here on the chat. Um, just, uh, <laughs> these look really good. I mean, they look, I'm not going to move the rack, or else they'll touch. But, I mean, <laughs> so anyway, thank you for visiting. Thank you for visiting. I'm going to take these and uh, take these over to my desk, hit the outro, and put hooks on this batch. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Always do.